press the start recording button and check watch for time waiting for eight o'clock okay put phone on silent these are all things you need to do before you start filming anything particularly since Jennifer is texting me at the moment. Okay. Challenges are wiped out. I'm at the station point, so we're going to resume. Surrounded by snow and nothing to drop. Okay, folks, welcome back to The Long Dark. We are doing the Wipeout Challenge again. This is video number three in this series. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, a few things have changed since the, the first two videos. For a start, three weeks has passed. I actually started filming those uh, way, way back when the, when the first update came out. Um, but it's now a few weeks later because it's just been so busy. I haven't been able to, uh, to do any more filming. So a few other things have changed. Quite a lot of my hair has gone missing. Um, that's all fallen off. Uh, although some of it has fallen down here, uh, and uh, part of the reason why I've been missing is that I've been in Italy, so uh, I am now back in the UK, and I brought the hot weather back with me, uh, which is a bad thing, because I don't deal with heat very well. I much prefer the cold of the long dark, and that is where we are. So, picking up from where we left off, we're in the Lonely Lighthouse at Desolation Point, uh, doing the Wipeout Challenge. Our goal is to collect uh, everything that we can, well there is our goal, listed in our journal. Now, we have to put it in the Quinset gas station, so you can see here we have enough bandages, matches, and we also have a rifle. So we have three ticks, so we need to be collecting everything else. So that's why I've come over to Desolation Point in the hope that I can scavenge some of the items that we need. So it's kind of things like kerosene, hatchets, rifle cartridges, things like that are what I'm hoping to get hold of from up here. And I think, uh, if I remember, it has been a few weeks, and I really can't remember that clearly. So uh, you're going to have to bear with me while I get my head back together again. Uh, we've got four hours of daylight left. I think I'd only slept for an hour just to save the game. Let's see what we're carrying. We're up to carrying limit. Um, carrying uh, quite a lot of sticks. Quite a lot of other things. We've got a fair bit of food. Uh, whoops. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's not allowed. The game has crashed. Ah. Okay. Right. Bear with me. That's gone well. Let's <laughs> find that back up. Oh. Well, bugger me. Hopefully, I can do that without it wanting to. It's actually doing an. It's doing an update. Oh great, just what we did not need at that precise moment. <laughs> now my next question, I don't really know what's going to happen here. Okay, let's resume. Let's just make sure we are actually recording again. Okay, sorry about that. We are now back. The game crashed. Just what you don't need when you're uh, about to do a video. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I think I only slept for an hour just to save the game. So I'm pretty much up to my carrying capacity. So I think what I'm going to do, we're here. I haven't, I don't think I've done a great deal in here, to be honest. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to drop a lot of the stuff I'm carrying let's drop all of those so we'll hang on to the sticks, we'll hang on to the tinder and let's drop I'm uh, basically dropping it all just to reduce my carrying weight for the simple reason that it will allow me to head over to um, We'll keep that three half rounds with some of that. Basically, what I'm hoping to do here is is just reduce my carry weight enough to um, go and have a quick scout around the rest of the map. So I got myself quite a nice little pile of loot there, plus everything else that's actually in the building anyway. 
I've got Forest of Daylight left. Let's just uh, head outside and just go and have a quick nosy around, see what we're looking like out here. Uh, not too great, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, right, well, the ship is over there. That's probably going to be our first target. So, I've got Forest of Daylight left. The weather out here is not looking too great. It's not too cold, though. So, I might make a break for the boat, actually. Uh, obviously, we did get jumped. I do remember this. We got jumped by a wolf on the way in. So, <coughs> hopefully I can get down here without... Uh, no. I'm sure you used to be able to do that. Oh, no. Have I doomed myself? Oh. I hate it when that happens. There's, there's, it's, it's one thing about the long dark. There are a lot of places where you can accidentally get stuck without intending to do it. Okay, we're down. Okay, so if we head under the bridge, hopefully the wolf won't be waiting for us on the other side of this little mound. We're thirsty, but don't worry, we'll sort that out in a minute. Uh, okay, now we're looking pretty good. Let's carry on. You used to be able to jump a little bit by pressing the space bar, but now you can't at all. Or at least I felt you could. Maybe it didn't do anything, but... Uh, okay, so we'll head out this way. We'll head over to the ship. I'm I'm really getting a shift on with this. Obviously, we've got this time restriction. Uh, 27 days remaining um, in order to do all of this. But we're going to get a lot of storms moving in. Um, as we get closer and closer to that time limit, the weather's going to get worse. So we really want to try and do a lot of this as quickly as we can. And also I have a feeling we're going to have to venture off the Pleasant Valley map further to be able to get some of this stuff. So we're possibly going to have to go to Mystery Lake. Uh, no, sorry, off the Coastal Highway map. We're possibly going to have to go to Mystery Lake and to Pleasant Valley. So uh, there's some pretty uh, sizable treks involved there. There's the uh, whale processing building over there. Now, I always get a bit freaked out in there, because you feel like you're going to get jumped by a wolf. Apparently... Like oh, be quiet. According to any of the information I've got, there is actually no um, spawn in there for wolves, but I'll believe that one when I see it. A couple of deer over there. I don't think there's anything on that island. Probably nothing worth what we're after at the moment, so I'm not going to bother. It's the ship which I think is going to be the most profitable and then obviously the building over there okay so let's head inside the ship uh, a bit of cloth there we will take it uh, we've got some planks which will give us reclaimed wood so we'll, we'll do that if we really need to let's head into the ship I've just become very aware of how, uh, how loud my PC's processor fan is and this processor does have a history of uh, crashing when it gets hot, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. So we've got a scarf, we've got nothing on that corpse. We have a fish, so we will take that, because that's food. Uh, okay, uh, oh, I didn't bring a torch with me. Did I, did I bring a lantern? No, but I have got some matches, so let's light a match. Oh, that's not made any difference at all. Okay, I haven't been, um, I haven't been on this map for quite some time, so I can't really remember my way around. Uh, I've made a bit of a mistake. I'm going to have to fire a flare, I think. Because otherwise we're not going to be able to see what we're doing. Okay, so. Reclaim wood. We've also got some coal. I'm not going to bother with that, because we don't need that as part of the collection of things it's asking us to get hold of. So I'm not going to bother with it. Rifle round. We're going to need that. Uh, nothing there. I think for most of these locations I'm only going to take stuff that's either food related or related to what we need we need some matches so we'll take those we've got a first aid kit anything in here painkillers I'll take those bandage I'll take that anything in the metal container or bandages I think we actually have enough bandages actually don't we so I don't worry too much about that so this is the forge for anyone who's never uh, been over here before. There's the furnace and there's the forge. That's the forge, that's the furnace. That's what you need the coal for. So you start a fire in there with other materials, then you add the coal when you get to a certain point. That allows you to make um, 
make things. I don't know whether an improvised hatchet would count. I have a feeling it probably won't. I don't want to risk taking time to make it only for it not to count. So I'm not going to bother with it. Uh, we're going to go and see if we can find an actual hatchet. Obviously in here we've got... Well this we can break down for tinder so I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to think I'm going to take any opportunity to create tinder because we need quite a bit of it. Okay, I also need to drink. I keep forgetting to drink. Okay, I'll do a little bit of scavenging. I think that goes outside. Some food items. And I think in here we've got beds. Uh, you used to be able to... Uh, I'm going to take that. You used to be able to sleep in here. Yes, you can. Good. Yep, so you can actually sleep in here. I will take those. And mm, not quite as uh, rich pickings as I was hoping there, I have to be honest. I think my flare might be dying down as well. Okay, let's leave the Reekin, which is the ship. And we'll go out onto the deck. Oh, it's not looking too pleasant out here. Temperature-wise, not too bad, though. Okay, that just leads back downstairs. Nothing we can do about that. Flare has now burnt out, but I don't think I can actually throw it away like I used to. Planks will give us reclaimed wood. I'm not going to bother too much with that, because I think we could probably get enough of that from Coastal Highway. The only wood I think we'll collect is any that we need to burn whilst we are here. But at the moment, we're actually all right. Okay, so let's head back up. And I could eat anything. Oh, be quiet. We'll sort that out in a minute. Okay, rifle cartridge, and I don't think we're going to find very much else in here, you know. Pry bar, we don't need, we got one. Uh, I'm not going to bother with those. Okay, so, right, let's sort this food and drink out, because it's driving me mad. So, well, we've nearly lost that fish. I think that's the one we just picked up, isn't it? So that's not in very good condition at all. I'm going to risk the beef jerky. I think we got away with it. I'm going to eat the sardines, and I'm going to eat the condensed milk. Okay, pretty good, and I am going to drink that soda, and then I shall drink some water. And I'm now quite happy that we've got to, I think there's been a hot fix to this, and there's a slight difference down at the bottom. Um, where we can actually see what effect it's having a little bit more easily than we, we did before. Okay, things are getting a bit misty. We've got two hours of daylight remaining. We're in pretty good condition as it stands at the moment. It's minus six degrees. I think I'm going to... I think we've pretty much done everything we can do here, so I'm tempted to head back to the lighthouse, you know. And I think I can probably jump off the front and not have to bother going the whole way back, back through the inside of the ship. Okay, so let's head back to the lighthouse which is vaguely in this direction. In fact, there it is, the shadow is forming. Now the downside with this is that I can't climb back up the way I came down, so I am going to have to go back up onto the road, which is where we came across our neighbourhood friendly wolf, so hopefully that won't happen again. I'm going to see how uh, how close I can get to climb back up again. Yeah, so quite a lot has happened the last uh, few weeks. been very, very busy, which is why I haven't really had time. Uh, one thing I will say, obviously, the, the other two videos as I'm talking now, I filmed the other two videos, the first two in this series, a few weeks ago. They haven't actually been uploaded yet, so um, they're actually going up a few weeks after they were recorded. Uh, and this one will be going up pretty much straight afterwards, so... In terms of posting gap, there's not going to be much of a gap. In terms of reality, I actually started filming this a few weeks back. It's proving to be a real challenge at the moment, I have to say, to get stuff filmed and get stuff edited and uploaded. That's why we haven't seen much more Fallout 4. I'm actually... I'm only carrying on with Fallout 4 from a completionist standpoint. I want to try and, and get to the end of the game. I'm so far behind the curve on that one, with everybody else is already there's a wolf. He's already uploading and uploading the DLC and all sorts of other stuff. I'm just so far behind, it's not even funny. So... Yeah, I'm probably not going to be rushing to get Fallout 4 content out anymore. I'm not going to be able to get up there, am I? Hopefully I can get up on this side. I don't really want to go back that way. Can I get up on this side? Can I get up on directly onto the lighthouse mound from this side? I don't think I can. Uh, I'll have to come back around this way. 
here. I can get up there, can't I? Nice peeled for wolves. If there's anything of use in these abandoned fishing boats. Mm, well, there's a backpack, so let's see if there's anything in it. A bit more food. Always useful. And then we have another metal container with a bandage. And that was about it. Okay. So let's head up the slope. Hopefully we won't encounter a wolf at the top. I can't remember how many wolves tend to spawn on this map. Oh, well there's one. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Are we... Oh, well, that's just perfect, isn't it? I think I might go for the Brave Sir Robin approach. I'm going to go for the Mirror's Edge thing. Don't look behind you, just keep running. Hopefully I can get to the door before my sprint runs out. Phew. Right, so, there's three wolves on this map. Right, what's the temperature like in here? Six degrees, that's pretty good actually. I'm debating whether to actually bother starting the fire or not. Uh, what's the temperature like up where the bed is? So that's where we're going to be spending the night. Temperature is six. Could be the, uh, can I drop the flare? Drop that flare. We've got that flare which is lit, so let's drop it. See what the temperature's like a bit away from the flare too. I think it should be alright. I think we should be fine. Okay, so um what I'm gonna do then, we've got two hours of daylight left. I'm gonna sleep through the night and then I'm gonna come down and I'm going to in fact no, let's do it now. Let's get ourselves sorted out, ready to, to head off again. So we want that reclaimed wood, we want the, the lantern fuel, the water, definitely. Reishi mushrooms I'm not quite so bothered about. Uh, we need cloth, newsprint, uh, accelerants, cloth, cloth, cloth. We are going to go over encumber, but don't worry. I know. Oops, didn't mean to pick those up. They're the one thing I was actually going to leave behind. Firewood we definitely need. Don't need that. Matches, storm lantern we need. We've gone through all of Oh, there's actually something in there. Oh, yeah, don't bother about those. Uh, okay, we've got another book. We've got some gloves, which I may or may not already be wearing. Got another book. I think these books I may end up leaving behind, because they're quite heavy. Um, and I don't think they're items that are on the list of stuff that we need. How much over-encumbered are we? Six kilos. Well, that's primarily uh, going to be books, I think. Okay, let's do a little bit of housekeeping. So let's harvest these down into tinder plugs. And then when we, we're now going to head back to Coastal Highway, I think. It's slightly tricky because I kind of want to go over to the whaling station, but I've got quite a lot of, lot of stuff here, so... And quite a lot of it is things that we want to be taking back with us. So I'm kind of thinking, let's, let's head back to um, Coastal Highway and get rid of it and then we'll we'll possibly think about coming back I think six kilos a lot of that's gonna be the water okay I don't need those they can stay behind uh, I pretty much need to take everything else um, I have got some extra clothes I don't need so what am I wearing is anything gonna make things better I've got a lot of scarves Let's pop that scarf on and we'll drop those ones. Let's drop those. I've got gloves and I've got mittens. I think I'm going to go with the mittens. Drop the gloves. And we have a ragged fleece sweater and a worn down vest. At the moment the vest is giving us slightly better... I'm going to drop that. We'll stick with what we have. Okay. We might as well drop that fish because we're not going to be able to do anything with it. And then hopefully we can drink our way out of this problem. We've got quite a lot of loot to take back with us. So I think that's going to work out quite well, actually. So let's uh, hit the bed. 
four. We'll try eight hours, see if it allows. That'll get our condition back up. And then hopefully we'll be ready to make our move back to Coastal Highway. Woke we'll up fully rested. Okay. So let's uh, eat, drink, and be merry. Well, let's. We'll start by eating a little bit. I don't think I can do my coffee trick, can I? Yeah. I yep. Yeah, be quiet. Guess what I was about to do. Okay. I can't do my coffee trick. We haven't got any. That's a bit of a nuisance. Okay. So we've got three hours of darkness left. So that's past time for an hour. And then hopefully it'll let us sleep for two. Or three, hopefully. Nope. It didn't. Uh, okay, it's past time for another hour. And then hopefully it'll let us sleep for an hour. Well, that's just annoying, isn't it? Right, close. Okay. Let's have a quick... Okay, it's past time for another hour. There we are, that's better. Now we've got some daylight, we'll see what we're doing. Okay, so we're going to leave all of that loot behind. And we've pretty much eaten and drank our way out of our encumberment issue, so let's do that. Finish that job off. Okay, near enough. As near as we're going to get. So let's head downstairs. I think we've pretty much got everything we want to take with us. Don't need the rifle cleaning kit. Um, oh, I have actually overlooked the medicine cabinet. I'll take the emergency stim, I'll take the energy bar. And let's head outside. So it's going to be pretty cold out here, I think. Hmm, weather's not looking too great. Well, let's head back up towards the cave system, the mine system that we used to uh, get here in the first place. And make our way back to Coastal Highway. And we'll offload our loot. I don't know if we'll make it back to Coastal Highway in this video. We might do. If, uh, we've got... Uh, I'm going for 40 minute video on this one. So we've got 20 minutes left. So let's see how we're doing. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so long dark. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more long dark videos. Um, I'm going to be trying to get them filmed quite regularly if I can and get a, a nice upload schedule going. I also want to get back into Kerbal Space Program as well. Um, properly. Because again, that's something else that's suffered a bit. I'm, I'm just, just finding the time at the moment, I have to be honest. It uh, works very, very, very busy for very complicated reasons that I can't talk too much about. And uh, obviously my girlfriend lives here 20 mile drive away. So um have to head over there and it's quite a bit of commuting involved for both of us to be honest, so other things are taking over and they're all high priority stuff, so that's how it uh, how it is. But hopefully we can get a few more videos up and I can keep going. And I'm also gonna do um a, a bit more non game stuff as well. I've always said this channel is is more about oh brilliant. This channel is more about things that are, are, are interesting to me that I'm involved with or that I've got a, a, a anything to do with, not just gaming. Uh, I know that's maybe a little unusual. Most channels are very specific, but this one isn't. So uh, a few little things. I've been doing a little bit of camera experimenting, car filming again, um, and I'm also hoping to get some stuff out on the go-karts. And um, a bit more motorsport, a bit of rallying. I'm, uh, I've got my tickets for Rally Great Britain in uh, October, so I'm very much hoping that I can get myself up there, and hopefully I can uh, I can get some fo some photographs and some filming as well. All being well, and of course the other big bit of news that's happened is that Robot Wars is coming back. Anyone in the UK? I used to be involved in it a very, very long time ago when it was first around, and uh, it's great to see it back. Hopefully, there'll be more than one series, and hopefully, I've uh, got the going to have the opportunity to get involved. All being well, next year, if uh, if there is more than one series, there's our little arrow that we left behind. So I'm going to take it all. So I want the sticks. Okay, hopefully we can get out of some of this cold. I'm going to 
If I get the at risk of hypothermia, I'll just sort of hole up in a little bit of a a corner and uh, light a little fire. But hopefully, if my memory serves me, we are not a million miles away from the mine entrance, or at least I hope we're not. The weather, the, the weather isn't great for travelling, but we kind of got to. We've got very limited time, so we need to move on. Yeah, so Rebel Wars is back, so hopefully I'll get involved in that next year. and see a few bits and pieces. And uh, I think, to be honest, even if, it, even if there isn't the opportunity, I think I'm going to build some anyway. I haven't built anything like that for a very long time. And I got a bit of model making and crafty stuff as well, so I'm going to sort of try and figure this, figure figure out how I'm going to play this. Uh, whether I'm going to end up with multiple channels, which gets very complicated to manage, or whether I'm going to uh, keep it all on one channel, but just kind of try and separate things out a little bit. Playlists and things like that, just to try and help keep things separate. And here's the mine, here's the mine. I hope it's the right mine anyway. I've been caught out by that before, but hopefully I left myself a little marker inside here as to whether it's the right mine or not. Well, it's just saying leave desolation point, so that's probably, yes, this is the right mine. Okay, the bad news is there's a whole load of loot here that we need to carry back. I'd totally forgotten about all this. Okay, well that's going to have pushed us way over. Oh, only six kilos, that's not too bad actually. That's all right. That's not too bad. Okay, so uh, I'm going to. I didn't leave anything behind in any of those, did I? Okay, so we need to make our way through the mine. So we have a lantern, so let's make use of it. Much easier to see what you're doing with one of these. Hopefully, you guys can see as well, because I know YouTube makes things quite dark. Uh, oh, blimey. Okay, again, we're ignoring the coal. Uh, not that way. This one's quite a tricky one to navigate through. There's quite a lot of lumps of coal in here, obviously, because you're heading towards the forge if you're coming over to Desolation Point. This is where you would be getting your coal from for the forge, but uh, obviously we're not interested in the forge with this particular challenge. Obviously, I do also have a survival game going on as well at the moment. I'm doing the two, um, which is uh, unusual and very confusing. Obviously, I, I'm sort of playing two two different long dark games at the same time, and you sort of get cross wires over where you are with which game. So I'm going to be watching my own videos quite a lot, I think, to try and uh, keep up with what I'm actually doing. I'll tell you what, folks, it's so hot here today. If you're in the UK, today is the the 19th of July. And the Midlands, I believe, from what I've been told by my mum, the Oracle of All Knowledge, is that um, the Midlands, where I am, is the hottest area in the country today. And it's been pushing 35 degrees. Now, I was in Venice this time last week, or nearly this time last week, and it was the same temperature. So we are currently challenging Venice for, t for, for heat. And it is utterly ludicrous. We're British, we're not built for heat. We're built for cold. Um I think uh, I think we are right going up that way, yes we are. Yep, through this little um Ah yes there we are, we're nearly at the exit. Now this brings us out into a transition area, and there is a wolf in this transition area, I had to dodge it when I came the other way. Obviously we're encumbered, so the Brave Sir Robin approach isn't going to work. I really hope I didn't leave anything at this entrance that I've got to carry back. So I'm really not planning on coming this way again. Okay, I've now got a pry bar, so I can pry that open, so let's have a look what's in it. If anything. A bit of food. Okay, so... When we head outside, let's extinguish this storm lantern and bring out a flare. Okay, so now what we need to do is make our way back across the transition area. And that's going to be a bit of a challenge. I know there's a wolf out here, um, which I really don't want to have to tussle with. There is, I'm pretty sure, a cellar over in that, that building over there. I'm absolutely sure there is. 
again. I'd rather not. So that's where the wolf was. Okay, so let's make our way back around here. I'm taking a bit of a risk running encumbered because it will make it harder for me to fight. But we need to get a move on and we need to move this loot. Hopefully we can make it back to the gas station before the end of this video and we can uh, see where we stand. But uh, no worries if we don't quite make it. I want to try and keep to time. So if you see me looking at my watch, that's why. Okay, now, we can't just cross on the road, can we? We have to drop down, if I remember. Okay, this the wolf was over there. Okay, I'm going to drop down here. Is that wolf? No, that's just a bit of rock. Uh, I assume, whoops, that you can... Oh, okay. Right, hang on a minute. I <laughs> got myself in a bit of a tangle here. Oh, there we go. I assume that you can go over to that little island there, but I don't know if there's anything worth looking at on it. So we won't bother. We'll keep going this way. Sprintability is a little bit limited because of my encumberment. I'm keeping my eyes open for Wolfie. No doubt he will jump me from behind. Don't worry about that. We're not actually showing us freezing at this point, so what are you mending about that for? We're not cold. Well, we are cold, but we're not freezing. Hopefully I can make my way back all the way through this transition area and then get myself to uh, the, the lake cabin whilst avoiding all of the nasties. So obviously there's a wolf here, and then when we get back to Coastal Highway there's wolves and a bear looking around that particular section, so we've got to be a bit careful. I think we just keep following the road, if my memory serves me. Just keep an eye open for the wolf. There is a cellar over there, I'm not going to duck into it, because we've already been in there. Okay, we are now freezing, so actually, yes, I might just duck into that cellar and just sort this freezing condition out. Just warm myself up a little bit. Abandoned Harry's home, around the back of it, is a cellar. I'm going to look mighty silly if it's not here. So cold. So cold. Yeah, there it is. I knew it was here somewhere. Okay, so let's go into the cellar, stroke basement, depending on which country you come from. Okay, temperature down here is 7 degrees, so we can sort ourselves out for the hypothermia risk. In fact, we can uh, drop the bedroll. And uh, sort of take it. Whoops! Take an hour's uh, an hour's rest. So hopefully that will sort out our um, hypothermia risk, and will also uh, give us a little bit of condition and some. Uh, Once it back, okay. I'm still pretty determined to get back to um, coastal highway if I can in this video. So how we're we looking condition-wise. Yep, we're looking okay. We didn't leave anything behind in here, did we? We took it all with us. Okay, so let's make our way out. And we'll head back out and we'll head back through to Coastal Highway. Now, again, with these challenges, and this is something that I keep meaning to look on the forum, the Long Art Forum, and it may be answered on there. I don't know what difficulty level these challenges are actually at, so if anybody does know, bung it in the comments and, uh, and just uh, clarify it, because... Uh, I'm not sure what difficulty level we're playing at. I normally play at uh, Voyager, which is the kind of the middle level. I don't play at Stalker, which is a really tough level. Although I think I might well upgrade it on the next playthrough. Uh, and I definitely don't play at Pilgrim, which is the easiest. But yeah, if you're, if you're new to the game, go for Pilgrim. Get, get your foot in, find out what it's all about, and then you can step up the difficulty levels as you go. I keep bumping into the microphone, so hopefully that doesn't show through. I'm also hoping to get myself a better mic, because this is a bit of a cheap one and the sound quality is not great. It's better than the one I was using before, but it's not brilliant. Okay, so we're nearly back at Coastal Highway then, we've just got to duck under here, under this boulder. It is amazing, you know, that we've had an EMP event, uh, which has actually demolished mountains and damaged roads. Just thought I'd throw that one out there. Unless it triggered earthquakes, which 
which I don't think it would have done. But anyway, that's by the by. Okay, so we're heading back now to Coastal Highway. So this should trigger, I think, the transition back to Coastal Highway. Yep, there we go. We're leaving the crumbling highway transition area and we're heading back to Coastal Highway. And then hopefully I can get back to the Lonely Cabin or one of the, the lakeside. I think, is it is it Lonely or Lakeside Cabs? I can't remember. Hopefully I can get back there. But I've got a headwind, which is just what I didn't need. I'm also suffering with hay fever. It's it's not been a good few days, you know. It's overly hot. I'm literally melting. I'm suffering from hay fever. I've had one ice cream today, and I am seriously tempted to have another one. And I'm really having to resist that urge, because it's not going to do my diet any good. I seriously hope that was my stomach rumbling on the game, not a bear or a wolf sneaking up behind me. I we could do without this headwind. Many times, many, many times. It's incredible, you know, I do genuinely choose whether to be the male or the female character for each playthrough by flipping a coin. And uh, I always <laughs> seem to end up with the female. You know, I always said moaned less than the bloke, but I don't think that's necessarily true anymore. I can feel my watch vibrating, which is telling me we're getting quite close to time. So let me just do some clever... See, the thing about having the webcam is you get to see some of my little tricks that I have. Oh dear. Excuse me. I'm going to have to scratch my nose a little bit there. Oh, I'm slightly concerned here. Right, I'm just going to go see if I can do a little bit of sprinting. I need to get into shelter quite quickly. I think I'm still somewhere away from the cabins, you know. Oh no, I've gone past them. Oh, for goodness sake. Please don't let there be a wolf here. Please don't let there be a wolf here. Please don't let there be a wolf here. Waterfront cottages is what they're actually called. For you, we are back inside. And I also have a feeling I left some loot in here, didn't I? Yes, I did. I did indeed leave some uh, leave some loot in here. Okay, well, I'm going to call that a day then for this uh, for this video. Uh, we've got back from Destination Point, made our way back here to Coastal Highway. We've not quite made it to the gas station, but never mind, we're virtually there. Um, so, at the beginning of the next video, we will get us get ourselves over to the gas station and drop off our loot. Uh, so, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go upstairs and sleep for an hour, which will save the game. Uh, which we always like to do, so let's just do an hour's rest. That will save the game, as well as sort of getting our temperature and everything back up again. So let's just check that that's saved. And now that it has, I will say thank you very much for watching video number three in the Wipeout Challenge series, and I shall see you again very, very soon for video number four, where we shall uh, head back to the gas station, uh, stop piling our loot, and then we'll head out and see what we can find on probably Pleasant Valley map. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you again very, very soon. Oh my goodness me, I've been waiting to itch my nose for the last 10 minutes. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah.